Welcome to the American Air Power Museum. You... Yeah. You, what happened? You dressed yourself like this. I, I, I dressed exactly like Launchpad McQuack. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the difference between me and Murr. I woke up and I was like, oh, I need to put someone with an airplane on. And Murr's like, oh, I have to look like a 1920s pilot. <laughs> That's funny. I woke up and just was like, a uh, regular day for me. <laughs> Hi. Hey, guys. Hi, my name's James. I'm Joe. And we're going to take you through uh, the future of aviation. OK. Underwater flying. <laughs> <laughs> Wow's right. You all know submarines. Now we're going to have planes underwater. This plane is going across country, but now. Across country? <laughs> you have to worry. Not cross country. <laughs> what country? <laughs> uh, it's a continental. Because cross country, they wouldn't be underwater. You don't have to worry about turbulence. Mm -hmm. Ducks. Well, actually, yeah, you might still have to worry about ducks. Well, you have to worry about fish. You have to worry about fish. Sharks. 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 Sharks are the new ducks. Sharks are the new ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about helicopters. They are extremely unsafe. <laughs> extremely unsafe. The design is ridiculous of a helicopter. Just so stupid to have the propeller on the top. It's, it's just a bad design. It's just not the way planes should be, <laughs> yeah. right? What else? Straight up embarrassment. A lot of people consider them to be an embarrassment to the aviation industry. Uh, by 2020, all helicopters will be destroyed in a spectacular fashion. So we're just trying to like basically line them all up, blow them all up at the same time. We're just... <laughs> how are you gonna? How are you destroying them? How are you destroying them? Wait, wait, how are you destroying them? The way we destroy all the helicopters, it, it will be spectacular. We can't go into too many details. It's... And it's by 2020, so we're talking real soon. You guys are not gonna have to worry about helicopters anymore. Yeah, but what are you guys gonna do to destroy helicopters? So there's gonna be some sort of a spectacular fashion that will all be we, we, we can't yeah. go into the specifics, okay? But it, it's going to be spectacular. Yeah. Spectacular. <laughs> so, now, the experimental F-80X tactical aircraft laser-enhanced weapon systems demo. You are going to have your socks knocked off by this, okay? Give me one second, the, the file will load in a second. So. Hold on, it's gonna pull up. It's a big file. Lasers are the guns of... There's no file. Okay. <laughs> is that? And it's your first dance? There's no, this is just gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, you can probably just hit next. Fell for that one. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we took a camera out on the streets so real New Yorkers could ask us questions about the future of aviation. So this is part of it where it gets a little bit more interactive here. I'm a big fan of Chuck Yeager who broke the speed of sound. Do you think we will break the speed of light and each pilot the next Chuck Yeager? <laughs> this is Vanessa. Vanessa works on our show, works very hard. Half the times I just don't understand what she's saying. We don't understand what she's saying. <laughs> I, I didn't catch, I didn't necessarily catch. Yeah, well, I'll play it again in case you missed it because the accent is a little tough. <laughs> I'm big fan I'm of Chuck Yeager. Chuck Yeager broke, broke the sound. The speed of sound. Broke the speed of sound. We will break the speed of light and each pilot the next Chuck Yeager. In part, in sub it's unclear. <laughs> BASH, Bird Aircraft Strike Hazard, a collision between bird and aircraft. It's a serious threat to all in the air, currently experimenting with laser technology solutions to help stop that. <laughs> get out of the way. If it's us or them, get the flock out of here. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's the end. Now. You, can, you can please mail any further questions you guys have to James Murray and Dr. Joseph Gatto, DDS. <laughs> I'm a dentist. <laughs> We'd like to know how many of you think you've learned something of value here today. By show of hands. Four. Four. Okay, yeah, half. Excellent. That's all we could ask for. That's pretty good, buddy. 